your first warned weather forecast from meteorologist Owen Zarley. Good morning and welcome back. Our day is starting a little bit cooler and it's continued to get cooler as we've gone through the morning, mainly because we had a cold front come through just about a half hour ago, dropping temperatures and increasing wind speeds as we see right now. 54 degrees in Rockford, 52 in Freeport, 54 in Savannah, and 50 in Galena to start the morning. We can see that that cold front really picked up wind speeds all across the state line this morning as we're in that 10 to 15, even above that mile per hour range to start our morning. Those gusts could be getting up to 20 or 25 miles per hour out the door this morning. So just put a light jacket on for sure because temperatures are cool, especially with these gustier winds. We do see with that update that wind speeds may have died down just a little bit. Taking a look at the Poplar Grove Airport though, those clouds are starting to move off as that cold front continues to move to the south and east. So we'll see some more blue skies as we go throughout the day. As for today, we'll get up to a high of 60 degrees. We'll stay cool today compared to those 80 and 70 degree temperatures we've had the past couple of days and we'll begin to clear through the afternoon as well with some of those gusts, like I said, this morning and afternoon could get up to 25 miles per hour. Tonight though, we'll get down to a low of 33 degrees, clearing through the night as well, as well as being pretty cool through the night, mainly because of that clearing into the night. For tomorrow, we'll get up to a high of 66 degrees, staying mostly cloudy through the day tomorrow. Some showers will be coming later though, more scattered shower threats, so we could see some more measurable precipitation as we move through the night. That's all because of the low level jet feature that will be pretty strong through the night tomorrow night into early Friday morning. We see these strong low level winds getting pushed up from the south and what they do is bring up warmer temperatures at around 850 millibars or just about a mile above the surface. So with the, that southerly flow, we're getting more moisture, warmer temperatures and more lift because of those upper level winds increasing through time as well. So we'll see some scattered showers through the night, tomorrow night into Friday morning be sparked off because of this low level jet feature. But as we move through the night into Friday morning, we see that we have another cold front that comes through really wiping out that moisture. Taking a look at those showers here on Futurecast, we're gonna stay clear through most of the day today and into tomorrow morning where cloud cover really doesn't start to come in until the afternoon and evening hours of tomorrow when that moisture starts to get kicked up and even more moisture getting pushed into the region around 3 a.m. is when we have very scattered showers. I really don't expect too many thunderstorms or any at all. We don't have much instability through the night tomorrow, so we are gonna remain with just that shower threat through tomorrow. But after that cold front comes through, will remain dry. We see that we're gonna stick with uh, upper level winds that are mainly pushed off to the north for the beginning parts of the week and towards the end of the week, but high pressure will build down to the south and with that high pressure, it'll allow this big trough to start to develop and that'll fuel even more southerly wind up into the Midwest and stronger upper level winds, allowing for a more active pattern as we push towards that time. But you see that we'll stick in the 60s through most of the week with those 70 degree temperatures coming in later in the week. All right, thanks, Owen. Sports now.